like in this room, I'm with people uh, who are my friends, uh, people who um, understand the importance of the common journey uh, that we are on. Let me thank all the members of the host committee for graciously uh, putting together this incredible event. Let me specifically call out my friend, Congressman Danny K. Davis, who absolutely is the heart and soul of our city and has been for a long time. Let me thank Alderman uh, Walter Burnett, whose ward in which we sit. Let me thank um, Jason Irvin, the chairman of the, uh, the Black Caucus. But I will say this for uh, their friendship. And Walter's happy because I'm like the shortest adult that he knows. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me also thank uh, my friend, uh, Smita Shah. Um, anyone who knows her and knows her family knows that she is somebody who exemplifies the values of her parents. That is, to be a giving, kind person, to be a tough businesswoman, but also to be a public servant. I am deeply honored that she's my friend, and that she's my supporter, um, and I just can't say enough good things about her. So we are very, very fortunate that she is a servant a heart here in our city. Thank you so much. While we may come from different backgrounds, while we may worship uh, different gods, the thing that binds us together is understanding that when we stand together, there's no challenge that we can't meet. We proved that over and over in these last four years. You think about what we were able to accomplish in COVID. In those, in those early days, we didn't know a lot about the disease other than to make sure that the vaccine was available in every part of this community. And it, that's about partnership, that's about trust, and it's about collaboration. Mm -hmm. And yes, I'm extraordinarily excited uh, that we ex um, celebrated Diwali in City Hall. I'm looking forward to doing the same next year. Yes, yes, yes. The, the outpouring of people coming from all over the region, the Council General said it earlier, that there are over 400,000 people of Indian background and descent in the Chicagoland area. That means a lot. It means economic power. It means social power. It means political power. And it's been serving in an incredible way to make sure that he forges ahead for economic development for all of our people. And uh, Samir is a valued member uh, of my personal uh, team, and I'm happy and honored that he serves as a deputy mayor. One other person from this community that I want to highlight, who also is incredibly important, and that's Reshma Soni, um, who is the city's comptroller. Why is she so important? Because she's part of the financial team that has helped us get our fiscal house in order for the first time in decades. That means that we are doing things to save taxpayer dollars. $1.2 billion to save. The work that Reshma and the other parts of the financial team have done um, has resulted in 11 of uh, rating upgrades just since August, and three positive outlooks. And it means that when we go into the marketplace to borrow, we are saving you, the taxpayers, money because of the hard work. A couple other things that Reshma has done that I want to highlight and then circle back to, to Samir briefly. You know, small businesses, right? Many of us um, have them. One of the biggest challenges in doing business with the city of Chicago is we don't pay fast enough. Reshma has been leading an effort in our city are going to be able to prosper and thrive because of the work that she is leading. And I neglected when I talked to, about Samir earlier. If you like Invest Southwest, if you like the work that we are doing with our Chicago Recovery Grants, all right, Invest Southwest, $2.2 billion and counting. Our Chicago Recovery Grants um, are um, $400 million and counting. The fact that we are now uh, in an agreement with Chicago land, not just Chicago. Yes, 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 But here's what I need from you. Of course, your financial support is most appreciated, and we will put those dollars uh, to immediate use. But what I also need is to make sure that everyone in your network who lives in the city of Chicago comes out 
and votes. All of the good work that we've been doing, all of the progress that we've made on over these last four years, that's on the ballot. And we've got to get people across our communities to recognize what's at stake. And truly, the only one who's going to keep leading us forward, not take us back, not um, turn City Hall into a who you know and what you know business like it used to be, but everything on the merit, on the square, what is good for community, and really putting real meaning into the words equity and inclusion, that's the journey that we are on together.